All right. Good morning, guys. Um, before we start Evidence 4, um, there are some things that I need to tell you about um, in terms of like information that you're not going to get out of any of the evidences, any of the stuff that you're going to look at for Evidence 4. Um, this was supposed to be a really good lab, but in the face of distance learning, um, we're going to do it this way, okay? So um, you guys have notes that go with this. Try, uh, look, it works. Um, and um, you have questions that go with this. So you guys are going to answer these questions um, as we move through this process, okay? Um, so I'm calling this an introduction to transcription and translation. Um, there's something in um, biology we refer to as the central dogma. So I'm just going to type here. Central dogma, which talks about how um, every living thing gets from, like, what the function of DNA in every living thing. And there's kind of like a mantra that we can talk about with this, okay? And it goes something like this um, DNA to RNA protein. All right. Um, you guys, we've talked about this a whole bunch of times. You're a giant ball of protein. And the code for those proteins is in your genes. And your genes are um, on your DNA, and your DNA is the nucleus. Okay. So um, let me see. So the DNA is in the nucleus, and it can't leave the nucleus. It's locked up, much like we are right now. Um, and proteins are made in the ribosomes. In the cytoplasm. You guys know that from like middle school and stuff. You should. So here's a question. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. So how does the DNA message get from the nucleus to the cytoplasm? There needs to be a mediator molecule. We'll talk about what that is in a few minutes. So that's the problem, right? You've got the DNA that's in the nucleus and the DNA can't leave, but the protein that the DNA codes for gets made in the ribosome. So that's where this takes place. All right. There are some things that you guys need to know um, before we uh, get too much further into this. Pull another text box over here. All right. Um, there's some vocab that you guys need to know. Um, we know what DNA is. Carries the code for all living organisms. RNA is something, uh, it's called ribonucleic acid. And there are three types. mRNA, which is messenger RNA, tRNA, which is transfer RNA, and then rRNA, which is ribosomal RNA. Ribosomes are made up of rRNA, all right? You don't need um, to know much more about rRNA than that, just the fact that they make up ribosomes. Um, Something else about RNA, uh, base pairing in uh, nitrogen bases is different. Okay, so A goes with U, which stands for uracil, but there's your difference, and C goes with G, which is the same. Okay. Um, that's the quick little bit about um, RNA. And we're gonna start working with that and talking about 
how um, all those things come together. Um, this is a quick introduction. You know, I've said it before. I want you guys to have some familiarity with this stuff before um, I turn you loose on activities. All right. So there are two specific processes that happen to go from DNA through to a protein. Okay. First is transcription. And second is translation. Transcription is DNA to mRNA, right? And then translation is mRNA to protein. Those are the two things you really need um, to know. Those are the two things we're going to wind up talking about throughout the rest of um, this time. Okay. So let me add a new page. Let's talk about transcription first, because this is the order in which they happen. All right. So again, transcription is DNA to mRNA. And it takes place in the nucleus. Remember, it has to take place in the nucleus because the DNA can't leave the nucleus. All right. So how does it work? Okay. So there's some steps. The enzyme, yay enzymes, called M or RNA polymerase. unzips the DNA, so it breaks the hydrogen bonds, and um, matches bases, RNA bases, to the DNA template strand. So something interesting about that, we know that the DNA and RNA have different bases. There's no T in RNA. It's replaced by U, which is uracil. An interesting thing about that, though, is that RNA can recognize the T, but uh, the T and appropriately matches with an A, but the T can't fit in the RNA structure. And this process looks a lot like what what we saw in replication, DNA replication. Okay. So let me um, pull up a picture for you guys. I had a lot of really good pictures in here. Um, this is a really good overview, general overview. We'll come back to this a couple times. So you can see down here at the bottom, zoom in a little bit. You can see down here at the bottom, this is DNA, this is your RNA, okay? And then the RNA polymerase, this purple ball looking thing, is moving in this direction, all right? So you can see on the DNA, here's a T, and the RNA knows to put a, um, an A. Here's an A in your DNA, and there's the U instead of the T. Okay, So that's one thing you need to know. So that's a really good picture. Maybe a little smaller, though. Okay, that's fine. All right, let me go back to the text. So something else that you see at the bottom of that picture is that um, there's something called um, 
messenger RNA. It's an RNA version. All right. It's got to get edited. The RNA polymerase produces the mRNA, but it must be edited before it leaves the nucleus. Because, strangely enough, not all genes, not all parts of genes, code for proteins. There are some nonsense parts. Okay. So when that happens, there's things called introns get cut out of the mRNA sequence and exons. <laughs> Yay, thank you, R, correct? Exons stay in the mRNA. And then some other stuff happens. You don't need to know this for the scope and sequence of R class. Uh, RNA is edited further before it leaves the nucleus for the ribosome. Okay. And that, in a nutshell, is transcription. All right. Um, I'll come back in the next video to work on. Um, Translation for you guys. Okay. And I found one thing that I would like to add. So give me another second to do that. Um, I found a good picture of introns and exons for you guys. So um, I want to pull that in right now. Okay. So let me get it in here. Oh, that's really small. All right, I'm going to move it to another page. So you can see it. Okay. So um, you can see the introns, okay, which are the light blue parts here and here. The way I remember, introns, it's like opposite. Introns go out or exit, and exons stay in. So let me type that for you. It's backwards to what you would think based on the names. Introns exit the mRNA, and exons stay in the mRNA. RNA. Okay. So that's that. Um, that's the last piece I needed to add for you guys. Um, and then I'll be back in a couple minutes with some stuff on um, translation.